Welcome to my course, Game Development Basics. Week one, lesson one. What is a game engine? Our objectives for this lesson are to describe the purpose of a game engine, discuss some advantages of using a game engine, discuss some disadvantages of using a game engine, and then we'll review a few popular game engines. I think in a course about game development, a good place to start is to define what a video game is. And I think the most basic definition of a video game is that it's an electronic game that uses player input to generate visual feedback. So we take player inputs, we process them, and we generate something for the player to see via rendering. A game engine is a software development environment that allows us to make games easily. It holds framework required to make games without needing to program all the commonly used functionality. Some examples are player movement, level design, 2D and 3D rendering, there are really too many to count. And each game engine has its own way of handling these things. Some advantages, as I said before, is that it already has that framework for many of the common gameplay functionality that we will need. And in a lot of cases, it requires minimal programming experience, so they're very beginner friendly. People can take a few courses like this one and start learning how to make games right away. Some disadvantages of using a game engine that's pre-made are that you would have no or minimal control over the code base. So if you need your game to do something specific and the game engine doesn't allow that thing to be done, you may just be stuck. Generally, there's some form of payment model in place for using a pre-made game engine. And you may end up with overhead of unused game engine features. For instance, if you're making a 2D game, you don't need all of the 3D game development functionality, but all of that is still gonna be there. So you may just have extra things that you don't need. There are three popular game engines that are used for a lot of indie development. And those are Unreal Engine, Unity, and Godot. There are many others, but these are the three I wanted to talk about today. Unreal Engine, which is what we're going to cover in the first section of this course, uses C++, which is a programming language, and Blueprints, which is a visual scripting language for programming games. Unreal Engine is free to use, but there is payment after your game surpasses a certain amount of revenue. At the time of recording this, that's 5% after a million dollars in revenue. The Blueprints visual scripting language is incredibly beginner friendly and allows people with no or minimal experience programming to start making games right away. Unreal Engine is great for 3D game development. It can also be used for 2D games, but it really excels at 3D rendering. Unreal Engine also has an open source code base, which means you are able to change functionalities of the engine if you need that. Unity is another game engine, which we're going to cover in section two of this course. It uses C Sharp, which is a programming language for programming. It's free to use, but you must buy seats after your product surpasses $100,000 in annual revenue. Don't be alarmed though, each seat isn't that expensive. I think at the time of recording this, it was around $400 per seat per year. Unity is not open source. There may be some exceptions, but for the most part, if it doesn't do what you need it to do, you may need to write some advanced plugins to override the engine functionality. Unity is also easy to learn. C Sharp is a very intuitive programming language and most people are able to pick it up rather quickly. And Unity can be used for 3D games, but it really excels at 2D game development. A lot of 2D game developers prefer Unity for the 2D pipeline. Godot is another game engine. Now, full disclosure, I've never used Godot, but I do see the merits of it. It can use C++, C Sharp, or Gscript, which is their programming language for programming. And Gscript is similar to JavaScript, if anyone is familiar with that language. Godot is completely free without any payment model in place. It is great for 2D game development, but the 3D isn't quite there yet, and it cannot compete with Unreal Engine or Unity, at least for now. Godot is also open source, so you're able to change functionalities of the engine if that is what you require. And although it's not as popular as Unreal Engine and Unity at the time of recording this, it is gaining traction, and I think that in a few years, it's gonna be a contender. So the question that often comes up is which game engine should you choose? Well, most games can be developed on any of these engines or any other engine, and each game engine has strengths and weaknesses. 
I find it really just boils down to personal preference. I think a lot of people learn one, and that's the one they know, so that's the one they love. I think it's important to make that decision for yourself, which is why I developed this course to teach Unreal Engine and Unity so you can make that decision after you know a little bit about each game engine.